Hi guys, I'm Kevin Ploiecki and I'm gonna talk a little bit about my catcher's glove and what I look for in it and um, kind of the different gloves that I've used over the years and how I've come across this one and feel the most comfortable with. So uh, the main thing is just you want to feel comfortable with your glove, feel really comfortable with this Wilson uh, A2000. Uh, there's obviously different sizes of gloves, preferably I've always liked a bigger glove myself. Um, some people like smaller gloves, I like the bigger ones. This is a 35 inch so it's just basically the circumference of this whole glove itself. Um, some people like 33 inch gloves. Uh, it's really all personal preference, but this is the one that I like and um, you know, hopefully it's catching all the strikes. This is very, very important obviously come game time. Uh, saving a lot of bullets from hitting me. So um, yeah, 95 mile an hour, 100 mile an hour from some of these guys is, um, you know, it's important to, like I said, feel comfortable with the glove that you have in hand. And this one, uh, this one I definitely feel safe with and comfortable with. And um, yeah, you, you get used to the, to how hard these guys are throwing. So, um, you know, once you kind of understand each, each guy and what their ball does uh, here and there, um, you get a lot more comfortable with it. Different ways that I, I like to break in gloves, you always hear maybe of putting a ball in it, putting it underneath your mattress at night when you're sleeping on it uh, to form it that way. I personally like um, dunking it in water, actually, when I first get it. So I'll, I'll soak it in water, hold it in there for five seconds, lift it up, I'll do that about three or four times, and I'll put two baseballs in the middle of it, and then uh, I'll wrap it with an uh, elastic uh, kind of belt, if you will, and then just keep it really tight. I'll set it on top of my locker for three, four, or five days and, until it's dry, and then I'll, I'll pick it back up and I'll be able to move it a lot better. Because as, uh, as you know, some of these gloves, when you first get them, are rock hard and, and really hard to, hard to uh, work with. So um, that's how I break in my gloves, and um, it's worked out for me. So it's good. Called up. Uh, like both from the minor league, or, or, that, yeah. or from the minor leagues. Yeah. If if they say throw it to second base, they throw it to second base. Um, it's like when they're caught up to the plate, they're on the bench, and it can even be a it could be a backup, and someone got injured, and they're like you up, so they are hitting now. When someone gets hurt, and someone has to sub for them. Maybe when a pitcher gets taken out. They like called up to bat. Like when you're getting called up from the minors, like let's say Don Smith, he played AAA and they called him up. That's when like um, a minor league player gets called up to the majors, so he goes to the upper level. That's a weird name. A batter's about to bat. Do you know? Called up to the bullpen? Called up means like drafted. But, um, called up from the minor leagues. Maybe like when they're in the bullpen, like they um, go to the mound and pitch. Did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just taking random guesses. Called up, you're, that's, that's the phrase you use when you get called up from the minor leagues to the major leagues. Um, it was a big day for me and, and uh, it's a big day for everyone. It's one that we all look forward to. So you definitely want to be called up. Probably kids, probably kids and uh, maybe another pet or two, maybe a dog. Being a father, uh, teaching my sons, uh, you know, watching them grow up is something I guess I, I'm looking most forward to. Hopefully playing a lot of baseball, <laughs> a lot of Major League Baseball. Hopefully playing in the big leagues um, for that time and, and in a couple of series. Next 10 years, I would say I'm looking most forward to tomorrow continue to live each day like it's my last, having fun and just enjoying this baseball journey. What animal is best at hitting a baseball? A monkey. A bat. A bear. A cubs, because they're a baseball team. A bat. A rat. Um, a dog. A monkey. A bat. Depends on position. I think it would be a cheetah, because cheetahs are strong and fast. A bat. Humans. Humans. A bat. A bat. A turtle. 
a bear. A bat. 